Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We woke up this morning, the sun was shining, kind of giving that summer heat. And now we have the windows open, it's beautiful outside, and we're just welcoming it in. Like spring is, I think, officially here. Fingers crossed, it doesn't go away again. But we have a ton to do. I want to clean everything up in here, get a nice, clean slate going then I'm actually gonna be jumping into our pantry I want to kind of reorganize that we did do a full pantry makeover when we first moved in like within a month or two of moving in and that has held up really well but life happens and it's kind of gotten a little in disarray so we are going to be reorganizing that in there a little bit and then I also have some amazing recipes you guys do not want to miss out on oh and I'm also going to be sharing a new menu board that I got our menu board situation has been kind of hit or miss since moving in so enough chatting let's get to it I wanna hear you say yeah. so as you can see i'm just starting out in our living room kind of tidying things up and if you saw my recent spring cleaning video i did get started officially on spring cleaning and prior to that i actually shared like a deep cleaning video where i deep cleaned our kitchen and some other you know very neglected areas in our home and honestly i love spring cleaning well I like love hate spring cleaning. I kind of hate the act of doing it. However, the benefit of it feels so good. Now a little different subject, but I am totally an advocate for homemaking and just reminding yourself that homemaking is something that truly, truly matters. So if you are here today and not feeling motivated, or if you're here feeling less than, underappreciated, whatever the case may be, know that you are not alone and just remind yourself that you are doing something that really does matter. Now I am going to give you guys a challenge. I challenge you to go ahead and get up right now, this minute, stand up, Go clean something, you can leave this video on and just clean right along with me for a few moments and I will kind of chat with you on and off throughout this video and then a little bit later on, once we get into the recipes, you can sit down, hang out with me, take a load off and just rest and relax for a little bit, enjoy some delicious recipes that I'll be sharing with you and if you decide to take me up on this challenge today and clean right now, go ahead and leave a comment before you start, let me know what you are going to tackle and then let me know once you finish up. No matter no matter what kind of day you're having, remind yourself that you are amazing. Everything is always more fun to do with a friend. And today you've got me right by your side, cheering you on and keeping you company. And we can do this together. Dance the 
I feel like the dishes actually look a lot worse than how they truly are. So this is all dirty, these are dirty, but Kyle washed these last night when I was playing with the boys. And so these are all clean, thank goodness. So this is kind of random, but recently I got a comment asking about our razor or side-by-side, -side, whatever you call them. Um, basically, over on our vlog channel, we had shared a little tidbit that our razor had been stolen or that we didn't have our razor anymore, something like that. And we were planning on doing like a full update to you guys over on the vlog channel and you know, life happened and we got busy and we kind of forgot to let you guys know and update you on that. So I figured I would share just a short little story time with you guys on our razor and let you know exactly what happened. So we are actually gonna go back to Christmas morning. I think it was like seven in the morning. We were all sitting in the living room as a family, watching the boys open their gifts, things like that. Then we hung out for a while. I feel like we always take naps on Christmas morning. It's just a very lazy day in our house typically. And then later on in the day, we actually went out for a family bike ride. And when we got back, we realized, wait, where is our razor? Now, typically our razor is parked in the garage, but we had moved it out a night before to store something in the garage for a friend. And once we realized it wasn't in the driveway where we had left it, we immediately went to our security camera that we have on the front of our house and we saw a tow truck pull up to our house at like 7.01 or 7.06 or something in the morning. And within 15 seconds, they had loaded up our razor and pulled away out of our driveway with taking our razor right along with them. It was the weirdest, strangest thing. And Kyle was immediately like, oh my gosh, did something happen? Was there confusion? Like, did it just get repossessed? So then he goes and looks online, makes sure all the payments are made and everything. So it was not repossessed. Then he called the police to see if there was any kind of like repossession order on it. And they said there was nothing. So then we went ahead and reported it as stolen. And of course, the next day he did all the due diligence stuff. Like he called the company that we were paying off the razor to and they said that everything was all good on there and like there was no accidental repossession, anything like that. So it truly was stolen. But it was just the most wild thing because it literally happened Christmas morning. It was still like not even super bright outside. Everyone was just busy with Christmas, not paying attention to what was going on outside their homes. All that to say our razor was stolen right out from under us with a tow truck right on Christmas day. Like it was just the most bizarre thing. So this is my very favorite essential oil. I actually am all out of these ones, so I need to go grab one from over by my diffuser. But these are my favorite because they are very affordable and they're super high quality. And also I did want to note, I do get some comments sometimes just letting me know that essential oils can be dangerous for pets. And I have heard this. I actually found this out after we had been using them for years and years and had never had any issues. But once I found out about that, I asked our vet years ago about it and seeing Kind of what they thought about it and he ended up telling us that diffusing oils or using them in this way like isn't really a big deal for the pets really it's just keeping the undiluted oils out of reach for them but definitely that's something that's like a personal decision and also i felt a lot more comfortable knowing what my vet had told us these are some of the little countertop samples that we got when we were out the other day. I don't think we're going with any of these, but it's super exciting that the kitchen renovation is becoming very, very real.
this mini board. I love it. I think it's so cute. I love the size. I do love that it's dry erase. However, it feels like it's dry erase, but when you try to erase something, like it does not erase. Sometimes I can get a magic eraser to erase it, but even that is kind of a struggle. So a while back, I came up with this new system and basically I just used a label maker to write different dinner ideas and recipes and things like that on here so that we can actually pull it out and stick it on. And that did work actually for a really long time, but I'm always like making new recipes and especially with the way I'm eating, it's like things change. I stop eating this, I start eating that. And so this is not as easy for that, but I'm just going to try something different. And you'll still keep this around for different ideas if it's like, oh, what should we make tonight? Oh, we'll have loaded potato soup or you know whatever just to give us different ideas but this mini board is not working for us so I did get this one it's an acrylic material so it is dry erase it also comes in black it comes in clear and it comes in this white color and then all of them have like the gold lettering on it so it has the menu it also has a little grocery list which is perfect and then any kind of notes that we might need so I'm super excited about this. I think it's going to be awesome and work really great. And then once we get this up, we'll go ahead and work on the pantry. This is why I use the Velcro command strips because it just pops off. And then for these, you do wanna make sure you pull them to the side and it's going to basically ruin the command strip, but it doesn't damage your wall at all. Because this has like a thick backing to it back here to make it elevated off the wall, I can't just use my normal command strips, but instead they did break, give you these, they're like little raised rectangle box things. So I'm just going to end up putting them on the back of this and then we'll put these in and these will look like it's holding it up, but really it's just being stuck on the wall. And then this also does come with some different colored markers, the dry erase markers, so. I'm excited. This is gonna be so nice. It's just wiping off so easily. So my only bummer thing so far is that there's no great spot to put the pen, but maybe I'll just see if I can buy like a little tray or a pen holder or something that I can stick on here. But I love it. Play this out like it's forever, ever, ever, yeah. You and me together, yeah. There ain't nothing better, yeah. Let's hold this like it's now or never, ever, ever, yeah. Alright, next we are going to work on these cabinets. So this is kind of like for, like the majority is my kind of thing. So like I have some gluten-free items in here. I have things for smoothies, randomness. Clearly I haven't done anything with this and it's been driving me nuts. In here we mostly have like supplements or things like medicine things, but I actually don't like having them in here. It's just kind of where they've landed. You know how people have junk drawers? Well, we have like a junk slash home cabinet. So any randomness that we don't know what to put where it goes in here. So I'm not really sure what we'll end up doing with all of this. It definitely needs to be organized and sorted through and kind of figured out. And then once we are done with all that, we are going to come in the pantry. <laughs> like it's kind of held up, but it's also kind of not. So we're gonna reorganize that a little bit before we get into the recipes. Let's 
this is what we have down here. So we have like some cleaning randomness. These are batteries and this. I think that's more like vacuum stuff. This is all kind of Kyle's stuff. We have a bunch of tape. We will keep these out because these are our scorpion black lights and some scorpion spray. These are some furniture items. I might just declutter some of these, but I do want to keep probably like a bag of these. And then we have like, this is empty, whatever. This is empty. Obviously a lot of things that are out of date and we'll probably end up getting rid of most of this random candy stuff. So that's what we have. Time to declutter and put these things where they go. All right, let me know in the comments who else is nosy like me and loves to see what other people have in their homes, especially in those hidden spaces like drawers and cabinets that you never really get to look in. I feel like that's kind of one of the fun aspects of YouTube. Like you couldn't just walk into someone's house and start opening up their cabinet doors and seeing what they have in there and how they organize and you know all that kind of stuff. But here on YouTube, this is a weird world we live in and I personally share a lot of real life moments, so you guys know I'm sharing how it is. I'm sharing what's really behind those closed doors. If you guys are like me and like to be a little bit nosy, enjoy my cabinets guilt-free and just know we all got random stuff behind there. We all have junk cabinets. It's just life. So I am going to have to go through this and like reorganize it, but these are just different supplements that we have. I'm going to bring this upstairs and then I'll decide like what things we're going to keep, what things we'll get rid of, and also anything that's expired. And then these are things that are for sure expired. And then we also have some candles right here, random, but candles that we had made when Kyle's mom was visiting one time. Show of hands, who remembers this previously lime green bathroom? Oh my gosh, I love how this turned out and it is way better than it was before, but stay tuned for the house projects video next week. One of the house projects that we're tackling is actually our own bathroom. And then following that, like maybe one or two weeks, we'll be doing one of the boys' bathrooms. So stay tuned for all that stuff. love this bathroom so much. I can't wait to do the boys. Okay, now back downstairs. Now that I have everything laid out, I have these little jars that I want to use for coconut sugar, almond flour, the random like new kinds of flowers and things that I have for AIP and paleo. And then everything else I'm going to put into containers or bins up here so that I have it nice and organized and it doesn't look like how it just did. And then I'm thinking in this cabinet, we'll actually put maybe some of the bread so we can get that off the counter and then maybe some baskets or something for overflow, things like that, because right now all the overflow just goes in here because just with how my eating has changed over time, like for a while I was doing a certain way, then I was doing AAP, then I was doing, you know, paleo, whatever. That's just kind of how it goes. So we need to sort this out, but I definitely need to first go through all of these like specialty items and get them kind of decanted into there. I'm gonna start with like some of the overflow items and snack items. So I did also get these bins. They were $6.99 from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Ours is always combined here. And then I also have some like these up here. 
Then I'm gonna put up top to put like the extra part of the bag of coconut sugar and then I'll just have the jars kind of down here. So let's start with that. This has become one of my favorite new brands that I found actually through our Hungry Root orders. I shared them in a previous video and I believe my link still works. You can go ahead and save some money. I will have that link down below for you guys, but it's awesome because they are like a grocery delivery service and they also offer meal planning and things like that. So it just makes life a little bit easier. And one of my favorite aspects about them is that you get to learn about new brands that you didn't know about that fit into your way of eating and lifestyle. And I'm so excited that my little snack cabinet has been a little bit more full lately thanks to them. Don't you love our powdered countertops after decanting all of those powders? I feel like it totally looks like it snowed inside, but I absolutely love decanting items into jars. It just makes it so much more, one, aesthetically pleasing, which is great, but also it makes it way easier and more motivating to use those items versus just having to get out of the bag every time you want to use something. I've been trying to kind of figure out like what's going to be best for the rest of these cabinets. So I think this cabinet is going to be a little mismatched, but we'll have bread down here. And then I'm probably going to have like some smoothie items on the middle shelf just because we have our blender right below. And then I think up here, I'm going to put all of our supplements. That way I can just pull the whole bin down and it won't be inconvenient like having the supplements up high. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces, you know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. So for me, a organized space truly, truly motivates me so much. If I'm in my kitchen, it really motivates me to cook a lot more and cook healthier. And actually recently I did a bathroom declutter and organize as well. And that has been amazing to really encourage me to actually start using more of my skincare and things like that. If you missed that video, I'll pop the thumbnail up here on the screen so you can find it on my channel. But seriously, an organized space is way more than just aesthetics. It actually makes things a lot more functional for your daily use. To me, like I said, it does motivate me to use those items a lot better and utilize the things that I have. And also a side note is it does save you money because then you know exactly what you have and where they're at so you don't have to go buy anything new you can just use what you have and not waste anymore this is where we're at look at all the space just for moving the bread up and then i also moved our blender up i do use it often so i want to have it convenient right here but we have this whole cabinet clear now so my plan is to have like when we go to Costco or things like that, we can put excess in here. Then I can just pull this down easily and this is all empty. We have our air fryer over here in the corner since it's kind of bulky. Toaster that we use every morning for the boys. Here's all the bread. We have smoothie items and then supplements and then just like random extra bits up there. And here we have my caraway pots and pans. And then up here is like my cabinet. Obviously like people can get in here and have it as well, but these are all like safe for me. Like they're gluten and dairy free. And then up here we have just like some excess items, like bigger snacks, I guess. Then up top we have like excess. So the things that went into these containers, but I have like overflow is up there. And then down here are just more individual snacks or smaller amount of snacks. And then next we are going to start tackling this. Just get this kind of reorganized a little bit more. Tell me, why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? 
Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be Without you, baby, won't you all night long Won't you all night long Tell me So these right here are some of the individual snacks that we have for the kids for school. They are supposed to bring a snack every day and most of their teachers request the individual snacks. But one thing that I did want to mention about this is I really love having the snacks for the kids in these really shallow baskets. I actually got these from Home Goods and TJ Maxx whenever we redid our pantry when we first moved in and I just love how functional and easy it makes to grab the snacks. And then as I'm kind of moving down to the bottom area of our pantry, I'm just going through everything, making sure that we're only keeping things that we use and that aren't expired. And then a lot of the items down here, I actually moved over to that open cabinet that we cleared out earlier and everything is just looking so much better and feeling a lot more functional. This side of the pantry all organized and looking nice. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna start from the bottom up and kind of work my way through everything. <sighs> Should be fun. We run away. So let us up when we know. Just chase the waves. We'll make it up as we go. If you have I have mostly just like extras like when we have one in the fridge open I'll buy an extra to have out here so that if I'm making a recipe I just know I always have it on hand and so we have a lot of extra condiments so I think instead of keeping them up here I'm actually going to put them into one of the little bottom bins that way I can just kind of like shop from there and not have to take up like this prime real estate up here. We typically will buy in bulk or have backups and I feel like while that can be convenient it also is something that needs to be managed and maintained a little bit better and so that's something that can kind of cause an issue in a pantry if you're not careful with it. But I am going to share a real life moment with you guys just you know keeping it real. So I have a problem with saving things that I know we won't use but I don't want to waste it. So I just keep it on our shelves saying, you know, maybe I'll use it. Maybe we'll get around to it. And I wait until it's expired. And then it's like, okay, I only have one option. Now it's expired. So I can now get rid of it. But then I feel guilty because I'm wasting items. And that's definitely something I really need to work on is just taking time to go through things and not feeling guilty about realizing we're not going to use it and I can donate it to a food bank or something. That way there's no guilt. You're actually helping people out and you're making your own space less cluttered. But just like anything, I'm gonna try not to beat myself up over it. All we can do is just work to do a little bit better than we did the day before. It is a new day. You guys know how it goes. The kids got home, things got busy. We went to football practices, all that kind of stuff. So we are going to be doing all the cooking today and I have some amazing recipes for you guys. I might be kind of jumping back and forth between each recipe. However, all the recipes can be found over on my blog. I have that link down below. And then also with every single recipe before I start getting into it, I always have a recipe card just pop up here on the screen so that you can go ahead and screenshot that, print that off, whatever you wanna do. So we are going to start with some pancake mini muffins. Also, I'm making some peach cobbler overnight oats. Yes, it is 
is even more delicious than it sounds, which it sounds incredible. So you guys have to try that one. Then we're also going to try making the Jennifer Aniston salad. I have not personally tried it, but I've heard a lot of things about it and I found a recipe online. So we are going to try that out together today. It sounds incredible. Then we're going to make two different dinner options. One we are having for dinner and one I'm making as like meal prep for the week. So one of those is going to be like an unstuffed pepper bowl dish thing and basically it's like stuffed peppers but without all the hassle and without all the work so it's just very simple very quick to throw together on a busy weeknight which you guys know i love those ones and then we're also going to be making a buffalo chicken bowl and then we are going to finish things off with a blueberry grunt i have shared this recipe years and years ago but it's just a family favorite of ours so i'm going to share it again we have a lot to get done a lot of cooking to do so let's get into it so to start we are going to come in our nicely new organized pantry that doesn't stress me out when I walk in here and we are actually just going to grab a pancake batter you can make pancake batter yourself this is just the Kodiak cakes that we get from Costco you can also use gluten-free ones but this is mostly for the kids so I'm just not doing the gluten-free option I'm doing this one so we're also going to grab some mini chocolate chips you do want to use mini. You don't have to use chocolate chips. You can also use blueberries or, you know, whatever add-ins you want, but we are going to use chocolate chips. And then we'll also grab some milk. We use either almond milk or rice milk, oat milk, coconut milk, things like that. I don't have any almond milk. That's usually my preference, but today we're going to do oat milk. I do want to add in one egg. I have made this without an egg and I've also made it with an egg and I do kind of like it with the egg, but if you don't have eggs, you totally don't have to add one. to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees and then I'm gonna grab a muffin tin I actually have the silicone muffin tins and I really really love them they make it really easy to get out you don't have to like scrape a knife around the edges or anything these ones are just from Walmart so I will link them down below okay so in a medium or small mixing bowl we are just going to add in one cup of pancake mix followed by one cup of milk and then we're going to add in one egg then we're just going to whisk this up you never want to over whisk pancake batter but just get it until it's nice and blended next we're going to eyeball about half a cup of chocolate chips but you can also add in berries or whatever for this specific mix we're gonna let it just sit for just a few minutes and then while that's hanging out we are just going to spray down our little cupcake tin and then we will just start filling up each of the muffin tins. I just had a super exciting thought. What if this is the very last homemaking video that I ever do in this kitchen before we do, we have like our new kitchen. We're leveling the countertop, adding new countertops. We're gonna be painting in here. Like we're doing a lot of stuff and we've been wanting to do it ever since moving in. So I was super excited. Okay, next we are going to make those peach cobbler overnight oats. So we're headed back into the pantry. We're going to grab the oats. My base recipe for this is just half a cup of rolled oats mixed with half a cup of milk. Like my favorite one is almond milk and then whatever add-ins you want. So for this recipe, you're going to use rolled oats, some oat milk or almond milk, then sliced peaches. You can use fresh or frozen. I usually use frozen. Also, you're going to add in some maple syrup or brown sugar and then lots of cinnamon. And then I personally like to add in chia seeds, but that's definitely optional. So the containers that I like to use are just these little Pyrex ones, and I believe they're two cups, but they were great for overnight oats. So you typically will want to store these in the fridge for at least a couple hours, but I usually make them a day or two ahead of time. 
and we'll just leave them in there overnight. And then you can just eat them cold or you can heat them up. I always eat them cold just because I kind of like that and it's even easier. But this is perfect for like on the go breakfast. You can make this ahead of time, like I said, make a bunch at a time. You can even just make them and like add in all the dry ingredients. And then when you're ready to have them the next morning, you just add in any fruit, the wet ingredients, and then they're good to go. Super, super quick and easy for like a quick and healthy morning breakfast or even just a snack throughout the day. Definitely make this one. Okay, so for the Jennifer Aniston salad, you are going to need quinoa, chicken stock. Last night, I actually went ahead and made this because you do want to make it ahead of time so that you can have it chilled so it's not like a warm salad. So you're gonna need quinoa, chickpeas, an English cucumber, a red onion, fresh parsley, fresh mint, pistachios, and some feta cheese. Now, typically I am dairy free. However, I think I am gonna add the feta in here and we'll just see how it goes. And then for the dressing, it's just going to be some olive oil, fresh lemon juice, a little bit of honey just to add a touch of sweetness, and then salt and pepper to taste. So I love that it's just like simple, whole foods, very fresh ingredients. It sounds amazing, so let's put it together and we'll see how it goes. I'm sick and tired of emotions. They've never done me any good. Just told me up into your bits. I wish I knew how to call it quits. So a tip cutting your herbs is actually to take them in a bunch like this and then you just want to roll them up into like a tight little ball kind of. It makes it so much easier to chop your herbs up easily. Okay, now into this medium mixing bowl, we are going to add in all of our prepped out ingredients. So we're gonna start with that quinoa that I made last night. Then we'll add in our garbanzo beans, followed by cucumbers we cut up the red onion, the fresh herbs, which is parsley and mint, and then we'll finally add in the chopped pistachios. I've always liked to be a stranger. Keep my distance from the crowd. Then we're going to add in one cup of feta cheese. Mix that up. So for the dressing, we're gonna do about, maybe about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice, a quarter cup of avocado oil or olive oil, just a little drizzle of honey and then salt and pepper to taste. And one tip with lemons, if you roll them, they actually will release a lot more juice a lot easier. Not a sound. That is so good. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. I actually like never use mint when I cook, but you can taste the mint. It's just like very subtle, but you can taste it. Oh, that's so good. All right, this is a good one. Skipping town, searching for no Ready or not, this might be our last chance. I just ate the rest of that extra quinoa salad that didn't fit in my food prep container for my lunch and oh my gosh, so good. That was super tasty. So we're gonna take these muffins now that they are all cold and I'm just gonna store them in here. I will say the one downside to these muffins is that if you put them in your fridge, they're fine for several days, like for probably like close to a week. If you keep them on your counter, it's like three days maybe. There's really not a ton of preservatives in them, preserving them on the counter like you would get in a lot of other things. So right, next we are going to make that unstuffed pepper bowl. It's super, super tasty and it comes together really, really quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and start grabbing all of the ingredients that we'll need for that and then we'll start cooking it. The first thing actually that we're gonna start with before I get all the rest of the ingredients out is cooking up some rice because we are going to use rice for both the unstuffed pepper bowl and also the buffalo chicken bowl. So we're just gonna use brown rice, but I am going to go ahead and start cooking that up in my rice cooker. By the way, if you don't have a rice cooker, it makes everything better. <laughs> 
when you're cooking rice or steaming vegetables, it's just awesome. So we are going to easily cook up our rice and conveniently in the rice cooker, and then we'll get started on the actual recipe. No looking back, we started something I can never let go. I'm keeping you close to me, we don't need no sleep. And I know we will be all right, if only for tonight. Okay, so for the unstuffed pepper bowl, you are going to need some ground turkey, a few bell peppers. Now these ones are pretty small, so I'm actually gonna use three, but if you have good size ones, you probably only need two of them. Then I'm also going to add in an onion, some garlic, you can use fresh garlic or minced garlic, a can of diced tomatoes, and then for your seasonings, you're going to use some cumin, some chili powder, some parsley, you can use fresh or dried. Typically, I don't have fresh on hand, so I just always go for dried. And then a little bit of cayenne pepper. And of course, you'll use the staples of olive oil, salt, and pepper. You can add some shredded cheese on it as well. I won't add it to mine, but I will add it to Kyle's and the boys. And then of course, you'll use some rice as well. You can use brown rice, white rice, cauliflower rice, whatever you like and whatever you have on hand. All right, we're going to start out by heating a little bit of oil in my pan, and then we are going to go ahead and add in the chopped onions and chopped bell peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cutting those. Okay, how cool is that? You can just pop it right through. Once the peppers are getting nice and soft, you can transfer them to another bowl. However, I like one pot dishes, so I'm actually just gonna kinda like scoot everything off to the edge. And I'm also going to start adding in the turkey before this is like quite finished cooking. All right, now this is almost cooked, I'm going to go ahead and add in all the seasonings. And at this point, I'm also gonna add in the minced garlic. the unstuffed peppers dish is all made. So I'm just gonna kind of set that aside for now until the rice is done, and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's plated and once it's all done. But like I said, we're just waiting on the rice. But now we can go ahead and start making that delicious buffalo chicken bowl. Uh, my mouth literally waters when I think about buffalo sauce. It's so, so yummy. For the buffalo chicken bowls, we are going to use chicken breast, some buffalo sauce. This is just like a paleo one, but you can totally use like Frank's or whatever you want. We're gonna use that half onion that we had earlier. Also some black beans, and then we're gonna have green onions on that as well, kind of towards the end. Then to season, we're going to have paprika and cumin, of course, salt and pepper, some olive oil or avocado oil. Again, we're gonna have rice. And then again, you can add cheese if you want or you can omit that. I'm going to omit it for me. I'll add it for Kyle. So that is all we are going to be needing for this recipe and then we'll get started. All right, we are going to start out with a medium saucepan. Turn it on medium high heat, and then we'll add in some oil and our chicken. So while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to drain and rinse some black beans, and then I'm also going to just slice up half a red onion. I really like to cook our chicken partway through and then slice it and return it to the pan. However, 
How and when you slice your chicken up is totally up to you. This is just how I do it personally. All right, the chicken is all done cooking, so we are going to put it into like a medium-sized bowl. This is just one of our salad bowls. Add about a half a cup of whatever your favorite buffalo sauce is. Give that a good mix until everything is combined, and then we will work on the rest of the things. So the onions, the black beans, all the seasonings. All right, so while that is just kind of hanging out, we are going to put the same pan back on the heat, and I'm going to add in those onions. And I'm actually gonna deglaze the pan a little bit with some water. All right, now that the onions are cooking down, we're gonna add in our black beans. So many. Stir that in. And a little Wait, bit what are we mixing? I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all together. Wait, Because you're gonna end up just topping it over the rice anyway. And another thing that you can do with this actually is even just put it over a salad. That's a super great way to have this if you want something a little bit lighter than rice. This smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. It's so, so yummy. Now to assemble these, you are just going to top these over some rice or a bed of lettuce and then add any desired toppings. So you could add cheese, sour cream, ranch dressing to the buffalo one, like whatever really floats your boat, you can totally customize this. And then you can either eat right away, of course, or you can store it in the fridge to enjoy throughout the week, which is one of our favorite things to do. I love making, especially lunchtime, a lot easier by having some things prepped in the fridge. So you can do whatever works for you, but these are both so, so tasty. So now we are just going to quickly put together the blueberry grunt. There's going to be the filling and then like the cobbler slash biscuit kind of thing. First thing you'll need is blueberries. Then you're going to add in some sugar. Then you're going to add in some lemon juice. Also you'll add in some cinnamon and nutmeg. And then for like the biscuits, you are going to grab some flour. You're also going to use some kind of milk. You will need some baking powder salt and last but not least some butter you're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees and let that start heating up and then we are going to grab a pan and we're gonna start cooking up the filling all right next we're going to make the biscuits so you're going to start by adding in four cups i meant two cups of gluten-free flour not four cups so we'll take half of that out i was like wow that's a lot then we're going to add in four teaspoons of baking powder, just half a teaspoon of salt, about three tablespoons of butter. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. And then I'm actually just gonna give this a good mix and kind of break apart that butter. If you have a pastry cutter, that works perfectly. But if not, you can always just use a fork like I'm doing here. You just want this to simmer for, you know, about 10 minutes. So we're gonna let it go for a few more minutes, just kind of stirring it occasionally. And then now back to the batter. Here we are just going to add one cup of almond milk, oat milk, whatever you have. Then you're gonna give this a good mix. And one thing to note is this is going to be like a very wet batter. It's not gonna be really tough or anything. It's just gonna stay very, very wet. And that's perfect. All right, the batter's all made right there but we're still waiting on these blueberries to kind of simmer a little bit longer so while we're waiting on that i'm just gonna start cleaning up the kitchen so that when we're done with this recipe we are done we don't have to do any more cleaning Perfect timing, this is looking really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the blueberries 
into this little baking dish and then we will kind of start adding this biscuit mixture over top. Finally, after organizing our pantry and all those cabinets, getting things nice and clean and making a gazillion recipes, <laughs> not actually a gazillion, but you know, we did a lot today. I wanted to remind you that homemaking truly, truly matters. When I was a little bit younger, I used to feel like others sometimes looked at homemaking as not as important as working outside the home or you know doing other things. And honestly, it can be a struggle. I think sometimes you can feel unappreciated and it's also hard that it's not measured with a paycheck or promotion, like some things outside of the home are. But for just a minute, imagine life without a clean home, without groceries or homemade food, and truly everyone's life would be so much different so whether you're a full-time homemaker or you work outside the home and still do homemaking once you get home seriously I want you to do this pat yourself on the back right now and feel reminded that it is so important it really is a big deal and it's something that would absolutely be missed if you stop doing it and if you have been struggling with homemaking I've totally been there I feel like we all have just remind yourself that it really is an important job and sometimes that's all you need to kind of get back going with it and just know that what you're doing really matters and you truly are amazing so Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that little spiel and remind you, but if you want to see loads more recipes, I have an entire homemaking playlist with, I don't know, maybe hundreds of recipes. I've shared so many over the years. So I will have that playlist linked down below or you can just find it on my channel. But today for the video that I'm going to be linking here at the end on the right side of the screen is going to be something different. I'm actually going to be linking our vlog channel because over there we are doing lots of kitchen renovations behind the scenes. I know a lot of you guys have jumped over there and have been watching us kind of with the behind the scenes of our kitchen renovation and it's been so exciting. But if you haven't seen that and you're not already subscribed over on our vlog channel, go ahead and click this video right there and you can check it out and get all caught up. As always, thank you so much for being here and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Felix, you're not supposed to be on the counter. Felix, stop it. And then this. Felix. So I think I'm gonna move all of that up to the Felix. Seriously, someone cannot take a hint today.